I'll take you anywhere you want to go. I am a teleportation... Sugar toast. This is dire. If the creature has grown as big as they say. No, no, no. That's impossible. It was such a tiny little thing. Then again, after a hundred years, all bets are off. <gasps> but that would mean it's. <laughs> Oh, please. What am I saying? It's not my fault. I am far too fetchingly adorable to make a mistake. Bungling is not in my vocabulary. And yet, the problem remains. I suppose I could take care of it alone. But why face a menace to Tsul when the world is full of willing meat shields? <sighs> nice. <gasps> you there, young man. Don't you cut a rugged figure. Not too rugged, mind you. People drowning in their own muscles are so distracting. But those vanilla good looks of yours should help guide the eye toward the adorable main act. Yours truly. Oh yes, you'll do just fine. Let's say we join forces and help a few people out. Um, help them how? You haven't heard? There's a dreadful monster that's taken up in a cave east of town, down by the shore. What kind of dreadful monster? Oh, uh, it's... Uh, <clears throat> well, from what I hear... Once upon a time, some incredibly talented sorcerer was conducting an experimental ritual. But confound it, he left behind the raw lens he was using and... Uh... Actually, what I mean is the experiment went awry entirely on its own and birthed a creature of pure nightmares. Okay... And we can't have that, now can we? People are too afraid to even take their boats out. Don't you want to help? Doing a good deed is simply the best feeling. Not to mention all the pats on the back you'll get. From the air about you, I thought you'd jump at the... Yes, I'm in. I love helping people. Let's do it. That's the spirit, Schnookums. If only all your peers were so eager. Shall we depart forthwith? Heck yeah. What are we waiting for? Let's go right now. Um, yes. Do you think maybe you're being a little too eager? Do people ever tell you that? Although, I do appreciate the enthusiasm. Now, follow me, yes? I'll have us at the cavern faster than you can say. Who is this pinnacle of cuteness I'm traveling with? Point me at your foes. I will daw them into little puddles. Which is to say, off we go. 
I'm gonna help those people so dang hard. Right, here we are. Deep in this cavern, we'll find the greedy guts that consumed all the raw lens. So, let's go slay ourselves a monster. We'll settle this quickly. for this one. Shouldn't be hard. Looks like we'll reach the back of the cavern soon. Oh, yes. This is... Definitely the place. Uh, the, the seal is intact. That's good. I'll just uh, quietly pat myself on the back for that one. Sorry, what do you mean? Huh? Oh, uh, nothing, nothing. <laughs> On we go! Hmm, so it seems... This is where the experiment took place. I thought for certain we'd have stumbled upon that greedy gobbler by now. Perhaps they fed me some tall tale. In which case, I'm absolved. Not that a perfect cutie like myself would err in the first place. Um, Momo, would you mind telling me what's really going on here? The secret to perfect cuteness? Oh, that's quite impossible. I mean, where to begin? No, I don't mean that. I... Um, what's happening? <laughs> Not sure you even need me for this one. Thank you. 
Let me heal you out. Come, attend your master.
you all right? Let me heal you yes. out. Ready to heal.
strongest and cutest of them all now. Oh, that's right. It's still me. <sighs> what was that all about? And how in the world did you get a cannon in here? Well, Schnuckums, now that I've recovered the raw lens I activated and undone my little boo-boo, I suppose I can tell you. My name is Moriarty Gardestein, and I'm the greatest sorcerer of my age. Centuries of intense magical study have shaped me into the vision of delight that stands before you. This cavern is one of many research stations I once created. Although, I had to abandon it due to a little mishap. Okay. <laughs> Poor dear. Your mind must be swimming. It's not often one stands before such a great and powerful sorcerer. So, let me get this straight. You're a cute little girl on the outside, but a centuries-old super mage on the inside? <gasps> Wrong! Oh, so you were exaggerating about the centuries part? Wrong again. And I'm no cute little girl, thank you. But I thought you liked being called cute. You kept saying as much. No, I mean, I'm a boy, silly Billy. Oh. Oh. Um, sorry about before. I didn't mean to jump to any conclusions. Nor should you. When the world is full of so many wonder schnookums. Now, shall I let you in on a very special secret? Okay. Now, listen carefully. Because I have to whisper. It took me centuries of intense research to learn this secret. Which means it's for your ears alone. Are you ready? Um... Here it is. Cuteness triumphs over all! <laughs> the silence of ultimate comprehension. Yeah, sure. All I know is that magic as great as yours goes way over my head. Give it time, Schnookums. One day you'll understand. Now, I believe I'll make myself comfortable at your humble abode. Excuse me? <gasps> you think I didn't know about that rough, tough alliance you lead, Cupcake? What you need is my magic and impeccable cuteness to guide your army to victory. <laughs> I'll have your every enemy just dying in capitulation. Um, thanks, I guess.
can I help you, perhaps? Let's get to work. Need some? See you around. Browse to your heart's content. Enjoying yourself, I... All right. Is this the right?
Can I help you, perhaps? Resorting to violence! Settle this quickly. Sure, you even need me for this one. Settle this quickly.
We'll settle this quickly. for this one. I help you, perhaps? Settle this quickly. Thank you. 
teleportation professional. Is this the right... All right. Huh. Oh, do come in. Hey there. Need some?
Until next time. Browse to your heart's content. Enjoy. I expected you. But it's kind of hard to refute when there's a witness. He said West, so doesn't that mean... Brother, I am not hunting a dragon. No stinking way. They can ask Gar or Mio or somebody else who won't get turned into roast giblets in three seconds. Well, they're gonna need an escort, at least. Hey, what's wrong? Something happened? Oh, Commander, you're not gonna believe this, sir, but there's been a dragon sighting. Yeah, and it sounds like it's behaving erratically. A hunter found it in the woods, and while it didn't attack, it wasn't too friendly when he tried to approach. Hmm, okay, probably should take care of that. Do you know the location? Yeah, it's the... What do you call that road the Guardians use? The uh, old road, the elbow... Oh, I hate geography. Anyway, it's out in that direction, sir. <laughs> the old road. Got it. Thanks for stepping in, sir. The hunter who reported the sighting mentioned a glow that looked like raw lens. You might want to take along an expert on that. Raw lens. Who would know the most about that? I heard you guys talking. A dragon imbued with raw lens? That could be very interesting. 
Mind bringing me along when you go investigate? I have things to do, you know. front. failed at this. Not once. Here we go. Not sure you even need me Let's for this see one. what these lenses can do. the dragon we heard about. Whoa! Okay. Okay. It doesn't want anyone near it, that's for sure. And I'm not pushing my luck. Whoa! Just look at that shine. I know what's happening here. This is spontaneous lensosynthesis. Spontaneous what now? Raw lens is pure condensed magic, right? It's what powers the room lenses. In today's world, we only know how to use it as a power source, but there used to be technology that let people craft finished room lenses from the raw material. One theory is that the people who built the room barrows had that technology. Anyway, sometimes raw lens is created spontaneously inside the ground, or, in rare cases, inside living things. So, okay, then the reason the dragon is shining... 
is because Rora Len spontaneously formed inside it, no question. But there's one icky little problem. What's that? It's lost control of itself, and it's really pissed off. Did we beat it? Beat a dragon? Oh, you're funny. Forget the fact that it's a dragon imbued with raw lens. It just needed someone to snap at. My guess is that it was struggling with the anger welling up inside and it needed a way to vent. And there's your proof, see? It's calmed down a little. I think it's starting to adjust to the lens. Adjust? Right, so, one of the side effects of spontaneous lensosynthesis is that it triggers a kind of power surge at first. The host loses control of itself. But, if the host manages to adjust, then the power becomes its own, a natural extension of its own body. The bigger and tougher the host, the more room that power has to grow. That said, our bodies don't always play nice with us. There's always a chance the raw lens could trigger another surge. So it has to live with that? Forever? Uh, huh? What's happening? Does Lens absorb the raw material? Whoa there. I'm glad you're in better spirits. That's a good dragon. My name is Noah. What's yours? Chandra? That's a beautiful name. Uh, girl? You're, you're a girl? Okay. 
Hey, I'm sorry if we hit you too hard. Uh, I think you're the one who's punch drunk. You're talking to dragons now? When I made contact with Chandra's lens, I could sort of sense a little bit of what she's thinking. I don't know. Maybe I imagined it. Really? You want to come along with us? Uh, yes, of course. That would be amazing. Yes? Remember to stretch! Come back. Oh, do come in. Hey there. I'll... Uh... Come in, come in. In... I expected you.
And so his sinewed flesh was but the hilt, his blade the robust mind that sinew built. Ah, the words ring true. It is a nice poem. Ah, the boy speaks my language then. We shall get along fine. I am Goldsmith, a humble steerin who seeks to perfect his body while serenading his mind. I'm Noah. Um, I couldn't help but notice... You like to travel heavy, don't you? Oh, I must, as I visit many lands and must be ready to make camp. Whether I to peak or valley go, this body is my sole conveyance. No wonder you're built like a mountain. Ha! <laughs> Am I? Such a honeyed compliment I must repay with a merry rhyme. The reed that never bends, good fortune shall attend. My words to live by, if you will. In any journey, there is hardship, but stand strong, and you will be rewarded. This time, my reward was a local delicacy. <laughs> But enough of me. What brings you here? Actually, I'm looking for stalwart allies. I see. This explains the dire mood hanging over the world. Yes, and I've been scouring the world for people to help me stop it. Can I count on you, Goldsmith? I see no reason to decline. Great! Then should we... But I see no reason to assent. Why say we decide this with a test of fortitude? If you display sufficient strength, I shall go with you. Is strength that important? And so his sinewed flesh was but the hilt, his blade the robust mind that sinew built. Strength begets spirit, boy. Bring me a comrade whose strength is greater than mine. Mind you, a burly body is not built in a day, but take the time you need. I believe I will remain here a spell. But wait, hold, hold. Let me take a closer look. P pretty impressive, right? You did it, Noah! You showed incredible determination. So you'll join us? His passion stirred the Steeran's blood. Brave Noah, meet your brand new stud. I journey with you now, boy. Gosh dang, you are a hot helping of beef. <laughs> the Steeran take pride in their supple sinew. My power is yours. Hmm. 
Hey there. I'll... Can I help you, perhaps? Will you see? Zipper de lips, so oh, pad a mind, shablooey. Zipper lips, so oh, pad a mind, shablooey! The mist. Come in, come in. See you. 